This is Mustache on Music, and this is... Yo, my name's Flakes, guys. Thanks for tuning in. So thanks for sitting down with me. Yeah, absolutely. So your music, the way you described it, is an eclectic, electronic sort of sound? Yeah, well, you know, you got to use some of those buzzwords to kind of elevate yourself in the minds of the people, but I like to think I, like you know, incorporate stuff from various genres. Like I try and make sure that like it is eclectic, you know, and that people are like interested the entire time. They're like listening to the set. Okay. Okay. So what, what I'm most interested in is how would you transfer that over in describing your music as a mustache though? That's, that's where, how would I describe my own music as a mustache? Yeah. It's a mustache in the sense that it kind of just, it stays on your face. It it tickles you long after you're thinking about it. It's always on the edges of your consciousness. (laughs) That's That's actually a hard question. Maybe I should be better prepared for that one in the future. That that perfectly describes the way my mustache is on my face. It's always on my mind, and it's always tickling me. Yeah. Perfect. There you go. All right. (laughs) Okay, so you started off uh, in a whole different genre altogether. Yeah. What, uh, how did you transfer over? Or was it just something that happened organically? So I would say the main reason for the switch was because I started going to Berkeley, um, mm-hmm. Berkeley College of Music in Boston, for those of you who don't know. Uh, they have a really good like electronic production program there. And so like when I was exposed to it on kind of a wider scale, um, it became obvious to me that that's what I wanted to do. Um, at the same time, yeah, I kind of came up on jazz. And so I didn't really want to like just completely give that up and so it really became my goal once i started producing electronic music to like bring a little bit of jazz into it you know okay yeah what has been like the hardest part about about that in general like getting that sort of music out to the public i don't know dude i think the hardest part in general just about making music is that um like you have to get people to support it you know a lot of the times you'll reach out to like 20 or 30 blogs and uh you won't really hear back even though you know you you as an artist may believe in your product it just uh there's so much competition now i think that's like the hardest part is making people believe that you have something unique to offer in comparison to all the other artists on the scene do you think that going to school for that is like a better way to get around just like doing everything yourself like is it prepare you better yeah um yeah i actually got here through my school this program called the bpmi and um yeah so i think when you have a network of people that are just like already inclined to support you um you know it's a little bit easier to get opportunities like this and so i you know i think what i've taken away from doing this so far is there's there's a lot of uh kind of mean-spirited competition between a lot of the people uh, who produce electronic music, who play, all that kind of stuff. But uh, I think really just overall, like collaboration is gonna get you a lot farther than kind of like tearing other people down, you know? All right. Speaking of collaboration, is there anybody that you like in your genre, outside your genre, you would like to collaborate with? Yeah, dude, there's definitely like a ton of people. I think it'd be super cool to collaborate with um, uh, Porter Robinson. He's one of the other people playing at the festival. Um, you know skrillex obviously is like pretty high on everyone's list he's a super creative guy um i don't know i think the list is like kind of too long to go like go all the way through right now but there's so many people just like doing really cool things within the like scope of electronic music right right now you know outside of music what influences you the most to like in your music outside of music just like other life aspects in general Oh man, I don't know. So um, I kind of I grew up on video games, so I think the soundscapes of that like influences my music in a certain way. That's pretty common, I would say. But uh, I would say the other thing is I'm from Utah originally um, okay. in the United States, and I grew up skiing, and so I think uh, you know making music to like ski to or to do something really fun to, with just like a sense of lightheartedness, I guess is like really what i kind of try and like put into a lot of my music okay. you know like i want my music to be fun and i want people to just like feel like a little like lighter when they listen to it i don't know if that makes any sense but okay yeah <laughs> and it, if you had to have a mustache yeah any mustache 
like a little darker than yeah, yeah. the facial hair is on your face right now. Yeah. What mustache would you have? Dude, I've been trying to grow a mustache for like a month now, and this is like all I got. It's like nothing. <laughs> you can't even see it. But I don't know. I think those mustaches with like that like curl up on the end, okay. like curly cue kind of things are pretty cool. I don't know. Maybe a, like a Fu Manchu that goes. I think I would just want it to be eccentric is all, you know, like I wouldn't want to have a regular one, but I would want it. I want I would want people to see my mustache, much like my music and be like, Phew, that guy's got an interesting mustache. Yeah. Yeah, he put a lot of effort into that. Yeah. He's proud of that. Yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and where can uh, people find your music? See where you are. See what you're up to. Yeah. So um, obviously, like a lot of producers, my main outlet for music is soundcloud right now it's uh i believe it's soundcloud.com slash flakes makes so that's pretty easy to remember um also there's uh my friend who's sang up on stage with me cheryl um you can find her at soundcloud.com slash cheryl i think it's pronounced it's spelled s-e-h-r-y-l okay. cheryl so but yeah okay yeah well thank you very much this is mustache on music on flakes. Thanks so much, dude. Thank you. Sometimes his mustache tells him to burn things, but that's just sometimes, right? <laughs> just sometimes. I hope it's Kyle Birdingham with mustache on music.